Yeah, I think that that is one of the things, again, that that can set apart the great from the good is Mm. that ability to recognize, like, regardless of the outcome, I did everything that I could do. Right. Um, and and being okay with that and not letting that discourage you from continuing, mm-hmm. you know, to 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 progress forward. And I think that that's what happens to a lot of folks is you put in everything, you know, for 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 a period of time, right? <laughs> you put in a strong week. Right, two right. Two weeks. Even for weight loss, right? Yeah. That that that's the prime example. <laughs> I think everybody can put in the work for a week. I can be disciplined as a I could, mug. I could do anything for, for a week. week. Yeah. Right? But then you step on the scale and you're like, oh. that's it. Right. Like, dang, this ain't even working. Why am I doing all this work? Right. Right? Where's the outcome? What right. where's the where's the cookie? Where's the trophy? Mm. And then you stop. Yep. And then maybe something happens, you start again, right? But the I think the the people who you see out there who have lost weight and done it sustainably. They just they've made it a part of their life, yeah. right? They've they've just committed themselves to being healthy, or committed themselves to getting up and moving every day, yeah. or eating right, and they've just made it a part of their lifestyle, regardless of the outcome of their identity. Of their, ooh, I like that they've made it a part of their, their identity. identity. Yeah. I am a person that cares about my body, that works out, yeah. that gets my body moving, that eats right, and treats my body well. Period. Yeah. And as a result of that, yeah. I was able to lose weight and keep it off. Right. Mm-hmm. Rather than, OK, I tried something and it didn't work and now I'm reacting to that. Um, so I think that 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 is a difference that can be used in so many different situations in life. But right. I think it's something that I'm I'm working on even right actively where we talk about this weight loss conversation. Like mm-hmm. that's something I'm actively working on. And like I'm tracking things like, yes, I still step on the scale, but I've almost gotten to the point where I step on the scale. and I don't even look at it. I just track it. <laughs> I'm confused on what's the point if you don't look look at this. Here's why. Because one, I, for myself, have realized that tracking weight is not what I want to do. I want to track body fat because that's where my goal is. Mm -hmm. And so I try to not look down when I'm on the scale because I'm like, I don't even care about what the the weight number is. Mm -hmm. Let me just log it so that it can get into my phone. I track everything on my phone. And then at some point I will go in and just go to the body fat percentage and see how I'm doing because that's what I care about. Mm -hmm. But I, I try to avoid the emotional attachment to the number on the scale because it's so easy for me to step on, do everything that I can do, and then step on it, and then dang, like the numbers really didn't, like the 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 weight didn't move. What I'm doing isn't working. I need to switch it up, mm-hmm. right? And or I need to reevaluate and give myself a break and then try something else. Um, whereas I, I'm I'm just kind of in the mode now where it's like just do what you know you should be doing. And let the results come. I say, and that's where again talking to talking to Devon. L- listen here, brother. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> listen here, play. <laughs> um, what I have the issue is is doing exactly what you said, Sinclair. Like I'll have for and I a business idea or social media strategy or content for Play Black Wall Street. I'll be like, cool. I'm a hop on this content schedule for a week, for two weeks, for a month. I'll be really good. I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna do my uh my whiteboard. I'm gonna write mm-hmm. down my task and all that stuff, and I'll be really good until we have like a wedding to go to, mm-hmm. and I fall off for a weekend or for a week, and then it turns into a month, and it turns into two months, mm-hmm. right? Or until I just get stressed out with everything going on, and then I just like ah oh, forget it. I take a week off, and it turns into two weeks, mm-hmm. and turns into a month, and it turns into three months, right? And I think for me. I need to figure out a better way to not be attached to the outcome Mm -hmm. and be attached to or reform and solidify what my identity is, Mm -hmm. right? I think my identity is slowly not, not outside perception of my identity, not what other people think my identity is, but really like Devon, who do you think you are? Mm -hmm. Who do you know you are? Who do you want to be in? All right, let's, let's build that identity. Right. Are you the type of person that reads every day? Yes, that's the person that I want to be. Are you the type of person that creates a to-do list every day? Yes, that's the type of person that I want to be. Are you the type of person that says they're going to do something to themselves, no one else knows, and you still commit to what you said you were going to do? Yes, that's the type of person I want to be, right? So I think I need to take you know, a week, month, tops, tops, and like just figure out, or maybe it can be a week at a time, mm-hmm. piece of my 
Devon Terrell identity that I want to cement and solidify. Yeah. Um, there's a really good quote slash video with Will Smith talking about, I know he's a sensitive topic right now, but I still think, you know, pre pre slap, really wise person, right? Dope person, a great individual. If you look at his body of work. Greatness, right? Momentary lapse of judgment. Yeah, momentary whatever. He's a, a, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not even trying to get on that, but he's greatness, right? So he had this quote where he was saying, "You don't tell yourself you're going to build a great wall, mm. right? Because that's a big, big accomplishment that can get overwhelming. That's a, that's a lot. You start by telling yourself, "I'm going to lay this yeah. one brick as perfectly as flat." Right, as intentional ooh, 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 as possible. Mm -hmm. And then the next day I'm gonna lay another brick. And after 10 years, after 20 years of reading every day for 10 minutes, after 10, 20 years of waking up and doing mobility training every single day, after 10, 20 years of doing a podcast every Sunday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, unless we have a guest and they wanna do it another time, <laughs> right? You can now sit back after all that time and look at all the beautifully placed bricks that form your wall. Look at all the beautiful habits of reading 10 minutes a day and all the knowledge that you've been able to retain. So I need to take yeah, a week, a month, a lifetime and just figure out what, what are the Devon bricks of my identity. Yeah. And I think part of where I specifically, um, fall short in this in this realm is trying to do too much at once mm -hmm. like you said i feel like sometimes we let the the momentum the motivation at the beginning right it's so easy to get motivated to do something at the beginning and like oh man yeah i'm gonna write 30 bricks today mm. Mm. 30 of them things right? easy i'm a brick layer brick layer <laughs> no days off whatever right it's so easy to say that on day one <laughs> <laughs> no days off we doing it how far you in? Yeah, it's day two, bro. You know what I'm saying? We in here hustling. We grinding. No days off, man. Ah. But it's like, how sustainable is it to lay 30 bricks every single day? Right. Right. And this is metaphoric, right? Mm -hmm. But I like the... <laughs> or even in, in real life. Like, can you really... That's right. I don't, I don't, I've never lived What's the supply life. chain on that? I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> um, but I think it's... It is harder... It is harder to to step back and say what can I do sustainably? Mm -hmm. Like what is realistic for me to do every single day? Cause if, if I'm doing this for a lifetime, then there's no rush That's for me right. to, 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 to lay 30 bricks and bricks in one day, mm -hmm. because I I've got other things to do. I've got whatever I can. I know I can do one brick every single day, regardless of the circumstances, regardless of what's happening in my life. I know I can do one, one, one brick. And I feel like that's where that's where I specifically get caught up is is trying to do everything at once. Yeah. And I think it's like a perfectionist mindset, too, of like, if I'm not going to do it all the way, then I'm just not going to do it. Um, and that's that's a very dangerous mindset to have because it's more and what I'm kind of the mindset that I'm shifting to is it's more about consistency than it is about perfection. Mm -hmm. Right. It's more about the intention of doing something every single day that again, like, like you said, that has, that, that really is a part of your identity. If you're doing something every single day, that's a part of you. That's a part of your identity. Um, and so I think it's more a part, a more about what can I sustainably do every day? Right. I can, I can go for a walk for 30 minutes every single day. Right. Whether that's in place, whether that's while I'm watching TV. Literally she's been doing this y'all like before bed, she'll get up and she'll just, walk in place she'll be dancing and doing like where i'm like what are you doing st Clair? Oh, i'm trying to get my blood sugar down low before i go to bed it's like, all right do your thing hey it's been working <laughs> but right it's it's a non-negotiable right that mm -hmm. i've that i've made to myself now is like get up and 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 move your body for 30 minutes every single day um and that is something that I know that I can do regardless of what's going on, right? If I'm on vacation, if I've got a lot of things to do, I can wake up 30 minutes earlier. I can, again, during a little break, like walk in place. Like that's really something that no matter what I can get done. Thank you. Thank you for supporting the M4 show and our mission to increase the wealth of Black families. If you received any value from this episode, any value at all, any, 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 do us a favor and give us a like and subscribe on YouTube and Apple, Spotify, all anything, them. all of them, all, all of them, wherever you're listening, go ahead and like and subscribe.
And after you like and subscribe, make sure you send this episode to at least one family that you really want to see win. We'll catch y'all next time. Peace.